everybody and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Over the past few weeks there have been a number of really cool developments surrounding the upcoming Wheel of Time TV show that's currently in production at Amazon Studios. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the latest Wheel of Time news and doing some speculation as to what it might mean for the show. Before hopping into the video, let's take a quick moment and thank my channel's sponsor, Audible.com. They've been a supporter of the channel from almost since when I launched it, and they've got a really cool deal for my viewers. You can grab a free audiobook on them with no catch. More on this at the end of the video. Quick spoiler warning for the video as well. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of red, but this time only through the eye of the world. So if you haven't finished the first book of the series yet, please watch this video with caution as we will be addressing things that may pop up in the first season of the show and definitely pop up in the first book of the series. So let's hit on some Wheel of Time show news. First up, we have some new filming locations for the show and some pictures of the locations that the show is being filmed at. There are some Czech Republic news organizations reporting that the Wheel of Time production crew has spent the day in the Czech city of Bisluni. I'm probably butchering that. But they've been filming in an old church called the Church of St. Wenceslas. I'm probably butchering that too. According to the reports, there was a lot of secrecy surrounding the filming and the production team uh, didn't even speak with the locals. Uh, so based on what we can see from the interior shots, this looks very likely that it's probably some of the time spent in Shadar Logoth or scenes from Faldara. Those would be my two best guesses. It fits the vibe for Faldara, and the reason I would say this over Shadar Logoth is because of our next filming location. So there have also been reports and pictures of a filming site in Czech Switzerland near what appears to be the ruins of an old stone building. Uh, the buildings here have a very aged quality to them, and it seems like it would fit perfectly uh, with Shadar Logoth, or at least the way I envision it. As you can see in these pictures, the buildings are stone. And again, that aged look would make an excellent site for a ruined city, so at least from the exterior shots. Now, obviously, there's going to need to be some CGI work in the background to kind of make a foreboding old city rather than a forested area. But that shouldn't be an issue with the budget that the show's going to get. And the authentic look of the buildings gives me a lot of hope for the way they're filming this. The last of the new filming locations is an 18th century chateau in the village of Plaskovis. Again, butchering that. Uh, also in the Czech Republic. The interior is palatial and the exterior shots are absolutely beautiful. Uh, so this location would be my best guess for Camelin, especially the palace in Camelin. I would assume that some of the exterior will be altered with CGI. But the interior shots of the chateau will be used for the palace in Camelin, in my opinion. Of course, this is where Rand first meets Elaine, Gawain, Galad, Morghese, and Elida. I love seeing these locations because it gives me a picture of the style that they're kind of aiming for with the filming of the show. And I'm pretty excited from what I see so far. I'd love to see more of these filming locations and more set photos. So Again, as the, the filming goes on, I'm sure more of those will leak, but it's pretty exciting what we've seen so far. Again, one of my favorite things about all of this is getting to see visually the things that I had kind of seen in the books. And so this stuff's exciting to me. There's one other announcement that I think is worth noting before we get into the casting announcements. And that is that it appears that Rafe and the team have begun work writing season two of the Wheel of Time TV show. Back on November 13th, Rafe posted a picture to his Twitter account showing the writer's room in the Czech Republic and commenting commenting on the need for more whiteboards for the storyboarding purposes. This announcement has led to quite a bit of excitement with fans as it indicates that there may already be a season two in the works as it might have been ordered by Amazon. So what do I think of this news? Well, count me in as someone that's excited, although my excitement is tempered a little bit. The announcement that they are writing season two does not mean that the show has been picked up for season two yet. It is normal for the writers to be working on one season ahead of time, as it does take months of writing before they can have a finished script. Some of the baseline writing and storyboarding from the beginning stages of their season two writer's room will likely be used in the pitch meeting for season two to get picked up by Amazon. So of course this also comes on the heels of the announcement from Amazon that they have already ordered a second season of the yet to be filmed Lord of the Rings series that they're also producing. So does this mean that they are likely ordering a second season of Wheel of Time 2? I think it's a safe bet, but until we hear an official announcement, I'm gonna temper my excitement. It's actually quite logical that Amazon would order a second season of Lord of the Rings considering they spent a quarter billion dollars just to acquire the rights to it. They're not gonna produce one season and then stop. That all being said, I do believe that we will see a second season of the Wheel of Time no matter what, mainly because shows like this are not ordered unless there's a second season in the works as well. This would never have been intended to be a one-season project given the scope of the books, 
And Amazon likely knew what they were getting into before they picked up the show. I think the odds are very much in favor of seeing at minimum a second season of The Wheel of Time, barring the first season not being like completely abysmal in quality or receiving horrific ratings. As long as the ratings are decent, we're gonna see season two. The show is too large of a built-in fan base, in my opinion, for this to happen outside of just horrible quality, but that doesn't seem likely with the people that we've got attached to the show so far, so I'm pretty optimistic that we're gonna see a season two. So let's get on to the casting choices. So there are two casting choices that have been kind of discovered by fans and news organizations, but without knowing who these actors are gonna be playing. This has led to quite a bit of speculation among the fan community as to who these two men are going to be playing. So I wanna take a moment and talk about who they are, what they've done, and more importantly, run through the possible options of who they might be playing in the show. Let's start with the first guy that was announced back on the 13th. It was reported in Variety that Daryl McCormick was cast in the Wheel of Time adaptation. Derek is probably most known for his role currently on Peaky Blinders, where he was actually recently added to the cast, replacing another actor who had left the show. It's reported in Variety that he would be appearing in three episodes of the Wheel of Time show, and of course that he would be starring opposite to Rosamund Pike. Now, I don't think he's gonna be playing a main starring role, obviously only appearing in three episodes, so they probably just said that because she's the big name attached, but let's think about who he might be playing. I think we can narrow it down a little bit based on the information that we do know. Based on the idea that he will only be a part of three episodes, that does narrow the list of possibilities significantly. So who could it be? Well, since the person has to be a big enough part of the story to make it into three episodes, yet a small enough part to only be in three, that gives us our biggest clues. Combine that with the fact that Daryl is fairly young at age, 26, that really narrows it down to basically three possibilities in my opinion. I think that he will either be Dane Bornhold, Aram the Tinker, or Loghain. It's unlikely that he's gonna be another of the boys from the Two Rivers, given that the show will move on from the Two Rivers after the first or second episode, so it's probably unlikely there. It's also unlikely that he will be Galad or Gawain unless they plan to make very significant visual changes to the Andorran royal family. That leaves three choices that we've really been given here. My money is on Loghain. I actually think he fits somewhat visually, especially if you kind of picture him with longer hair. And three episodes seems to be a good number of episodes to introduce his character. Daryl certainly has some charisma and he's a very big guy. So he'd be able to have like a physical presence and command sort of like Loghain. He's about the right age as well. I tend to steer clear of Aram with this simply because I think three episodes would be quite a stretch of having the Tinkers be a part of the story that long in the first season. Dane Bornhold would also be a possibility, but again, having three episodes with the White Cloaks as a part of the story seems like a stretch given how fast the story seems to be moving based on the chapter titles we know of. I think Loghain fits the timetable, fits the expanded role, and I think he'd do really well in the part. The other actor that we've gotten word about is Alexandra Willem. I'm again, butchering that name. I apologize to you, uh, Alexandra. But this one isn't confirmed from any news organizations, but the actor himself posted on Instagram with the Wheel of Time hashtag and is confirmed to be in Prague filming a role right now. His posts were quickly deleted after they were noticed and fans started asking what role he was playing. So either he is completely trolling the fan base seemingly without reason at all, or he has some role in the Wheel of Time show. So if he is a part of the cast, who might he be playing? Well, this one's a bit harder to cast given that we don't know the number of episodes he'll be in or the nature of his role. But based on his appearance in, the statu in his stature as an actor, uh, he's literally been in dozens of roles and a lot of which are not small. So we can infer a couple choices here. He typically plays the smoldering bad guy that kind of has a mean streak in him. Uh, he pulls it off really well if you watch some of his stuff. And given his kind of grizzled appearance and how good a shape he is in, I think we can narrow this role down to Elias Machira, Gareth Brynn, Ishamael, Jeff from Bornhold, and Jarrett Byer. The pictures he posted himself were with a stunt team, and it seems as though they were giving him quite a workout, and that was implied by his caption. So that would imply his role involves some type of stunts or fighting. And I believe this narrows down the possibilities for this role to Elias Machira, Jarrett Byer, and Ishamael. And given those three choices, I would lean towards Jarrett Byer. I just think that based on the characters that he normally plays, that Bayer would fit him perfectly. There is another YouTuber that had this same opinion. You should check out What Up. Got a relatively new YouTube channel. He, uh, I've heard people calling him the Canadian Nablus, and you guys don't want to put him down like that. He's much more attractive than I am. But you should check out his videos. I think he came to the exact same conclusion I did, so maybe great minds think alike or dumb people think alike too, who knows? But uh, yeah, check out his channel. Uh, but obviously with a lot of these actors, only time will tell what roles they will be playing. And at this point, all of this is nothing but speculation. I'm curious what you all think. Please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think of the rest of the news. 
Is it encouraging to you that they're writing season two of the show already? What do you think of the news so far? Please give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel to get more Wheel of Time TV show updates as well as other Wheel of Time videos. Also, consider checking out my Patreon page to learn about how you can get some special perks and behind the scenes access. It's the absolute best way to support the channel. Thank you so much to those of you that already do and already support what I do here and the website that we're creating. We really couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much. And as I mentioned earlier, you can get a free audiobook from Audible. All you have to do is head to www.audibletrial.com forward slash nameless and sign up for the free trial. You don't have to pay for anything and you get to keep your book regardless of whether or not you keep the service. I love the Wheel of Time audiobooks. You guys have heard me talk about that before. It's a completely different experience and I highly recommend it for your next reread. And now's a great time to start. If you don't have the audiobooks, pick up the first one for free. It's great. You support the channel. You get a free book. Again, it's awesome. So hey, thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do Mistress up above, slipping on the rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy us a free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?